When we talk in terms of JavaScript applications, then pre-checking means removal or elimination of dead code. Very often, we have modules exporting a bunch of things, but for any page or application, we may only be importing a subset of those items being exported. This is where the concept of pre-checking comes in, where a browser only loads the stuff which is being used and the rest is discarded. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to do pre-checking or dead code elimination using Webpack in our applications. So do watch this video till the end to learn about how it's done. Also, if you like this video, then please be sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Now, similar to how we have to shake a tree to get rid of its rotten brown leaves, tree shaking in Webpack works similarly. Well, not literally the same, but still the concept is the same. This is like thinking of a project like a tree and getting rid of dependencies and unused exports that we don't need. So if you will use the latest version of Webpack, which is version 5 or actually version 4 too, if you will use these versions, then they will automatically do the pre-shaking for your application in the production mode. But in order to achieve that, there are a few things which you must take care of first. The first one is make sure to use the ES module specification and syntax where we have to use the export and import keywords to export the modules and then import them. Number two, do not use the common JS module specification because pre-shaking in Webpack is not going to work with common JS. Also, if you have a Babel like transpiler which converts your code into common JS specification, then you need to disable that. Also, within the Webpack config file, setting the mode to production is going to take care of removing any code which your application is not using. But then if you are omitting this mode property at all from the Webpack config, then it will automatically be set to the production mode. But normally we set it to development when we are developing or working in the development mode. Now Webpack has provided a documentation where it says that we can test it in the development mode. But when I was trying the example which is given in this documentation, then the results were not similar to what is being claimed over here. For instance, the unused exports were not removed at all even if I will set the value of side effects property to false within the package.json file for our project. So here is what the documentation says. First, we have to set the mode value to development, which we have already done. And then we have to provide the optimization property with the value of used exports to true. What it says is Webpack is going to optimize the generated bundle where it will check if any export is being used or not. What it will do is it is going to mark the exports which are unused with a comment indicating that this export is not being used anywhere in the project or in the application. So you can see that inside the bake module, two functions are being exported, bake cake and bake pastry. And within the index.js, the code is just importing bake cake and then calling it. So bake pastry is not being used over here. Now, when you will build the bundle again, then you can check the generated file. If I will open up the bake.js file over here, then you will see that for bake cake, there is a definition available. But for bake pastry, it has just added the comment unused harmony export bake pastry. Now the documentation says that even if there is an unused harmony export statement or comment over there for the export, which is not being used, the export function is still being included in the bundle. Like over here, the bake pastry function is still there. It says to remove that we have to use the side effects property. Now the side effects property can be used to tell Webpack which items are side effects free or in other words, which items can be safely removed when they are not being imported. To use the side effects property, all you need to do is to just add the side effects property within the package.json file and then set its value to false. Setting it to false will simply mean that the entire application or project is side effect free and we can safely not include any export which we are not using. This is really the case. So we cannot set side effects to false. There is another value which we can set which will mark the entire project as side effect true. What this will mean is that 
nothing can be ignored everything has to be included this is also not true because there are some items which are sort of true implementations in their nature like they are not being used by any other function or any other expression so to handle the situation where we have certain modules which are not side effect free we can just provide them as a list in this array so this list can accept the values for file names or patterns to let webpack know what items will have side effects when removed now the documentation says that if we will add this side effects property then the unused export is going to remove from this script as well but after i am building the code then i'm still seeing this bake pastry function over here so it is not being removed but the important thing is that webpack is safely removing or pruning every export which is not being used when the application is running in the production mode so you can be sure that webpack is indeed eliminating any dead code but testing that feature in development environment is i think is still a bit shaky just make sure that you are using the es modules which use export and import keywords and you are set to use the tree shaking for your applications another item to note over here is webpack will use the tersor to parse the dependency graph and find out which exports are not being used also if any of the library that we are using is using the common js syntax then we will have to use a version of them which uses the es module syntax and that was all about tree shaking javascript application in this video using webpack i am nitej take care and have fun